the fact that pressure acts in all directions, it's transmitted in all directions equally in a hydraulic pressure system, means that we can, we can design a, a pressure system that acts like a force multiplier. So hydraulic systems with different areas on the effort and load sides. Now the effort is the, the force that we're going to apply, in this case the weight of a penguin on a hydraulic jack and the load side is what we're trying to lift up. The penguin is going to lift up this 2CV car. So this is the load side and this is the effort side. So hydraulic systems with different areas on the effort and load sides can be used as force multipliers. So a penguin lifts a car using a hydraulic jack. Calculate the pressure transmitted through the system. That's the first thing we need to, to do. And then we're going to be able to calculate the weight of the car. The penguin's weight is the force pushing down on the area of this piston, which is 4 times 10 to the minus 3 meters squared. And that will create a pressure in the fluid, which might be oil, and that pressure is transmitted and is applied onto this load piston. And this piston has a much greater surface area, and so we will create a much larger force than the original effort force. So let's start off by calculating the, the pressure that's transmitted through the system, the pressure due to the weight of the penguin. Let's make a data list to start with. So the force, the weight of the penguin, is 150 newtons. The area of the piston that the penguin is sitting on is 4 times 10 to the minus 3 meters squared. And we need to find the pressure. And because we're in newtons and meters squared, that's going to give us the pressure in pascals. OK, so there's our data list. And now here's the equation. Pressure equals force divided by area. Let's put the numbers in. So we get 150 divided by 4 times 10 to the minus 3. And that gives us a pressure of 37,000. 500 and that will be in pascals. So we've kind of combined some calculation stages here. We've done the equation and we've done the solving by putting the numbers in and we've done state the answer here with the correct units. So that pressure, 37,500 pascals, is being transmitted through this fluid, through this oil, and is now going to be applying itself on this larger piston which is supporting this uh, 2CV car. And we've got to work out what the force is that this pressure creates. So we're going to do another data list over here. So here's our data list. Right, so the force is what we're trying to find. That's the, the newtons, that's the weight of this car that we need to lift. So question mark in newtons. The area of the piston on the load side, so that's the load side, this is the effort side, is 0.15 meters squared. And the pressure, what's the pressure? Well, the pressure is the same that is created by the penguin's weight acting on this area of the piston over here, and that was 37,500 pascals. Okay, what's the equation? Well, pressure is equal to force over area. Let's put the numbers in. So we know that 37,500 is equal to 
the force divided by 0.15. So to get the force as the subject of this formula, we need to multiply both sides by 0.15. So we're going to put multiply by 0.15, multiply by 0.15, and so we get 5,625 is equal to F. And so we now have to state the answer. So the force that's being applied upwards here, which must balance the weight of the car if we're going to lift it, that force is 5,625 newtons. So we've kind of gone a bit diagonally skew here, but I hope that makes sense. List, equation, solve, put the numbers in, rearrange, and state the answer with the correct unit. So this penguin, which has a weight of 150 newtons, that's about 15 kilograms, has lifted a car of a weight of 5,625 newtons. That's pretty impressive, and that's using the force multiplier hydraulic system because the area of this piston is so much smaller than the area of the load side and so a force acting on a very small area creates a high pressure and that high pressure is transmitted through the fluid and acts on a, a large area to create a large upwards force in this case.